Bromford is a place I am from and where I belong. It has its own identity and a thriving community. The Bromford is B36, situated in Birmingham, but with an identity of its own. Name's Jordan. Uh, sixth oh. form. How old are you, Jordan? I'm 17. Alright. And you're at sixth form? Yeah, yeah. I'm uh, studying media, performing arts, public services. Alright. Uh, do you like that? Is it alright? It's alright. And where are you from? Where? Bromford. You're, you're from Bromford? Yeah. And how long have you lived there? All my life. Yeah. Where are we today? Oh, uh, local tuper. So do a lot of people use it? Some people use it, like people from like round the area most likely use it. How important do you think it is to have a chip here in the local area? Well, I think it's great. Yeah. yeah. Why do you think it's great? Nice people, good customer, and almost like a Bradford family. So, are you guys from the area? Yeah. Yeah. So, what do you think of the area? It's brilliant. Yeah. I'd give this area seven out of ten. Uh, this is the hub now. And what happens at the hub? Well, we've got, we're actually going to speak to someone that works here, so we'll let them answer that question. Uh, nice one, okay. Yeah, Andrew. Yeah, oh, man. mate, how you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah, you're all right. I'm all right, man. So, Andrew, what is the hub? The hub is for kids to get them off the street. Are you proud to say you're from the Bronx? Oh, yeah, I'm proud. Proud and born and bred. Proud. I could, I would never move from Bromford. Did you say the M6 is a barrier to, like, that kind of cuts us off from everyone else? Yes. So you want to yeah, that? yeah, yeah. It cuts us all off. You got a bridge, you start cutting us off. If you want to go to the fort, you got to walk all the way around. We have only got one bus to go to town. If you had another bus from here to go to the fort, it, it, it won't cut us off. Like this is our area, our Bromford. Like I die in this area. Yeah. I, I don't care, man. Because end of that, I love this area. I'm from Bromford. I'm proud to be born from Bromford. Would you say that the M6 is kind of a cut off from Bromford and Murdington? Oh yeah, I mean, I've got a nickname for the Bromford, it's called the Alamo. Mm. We all know what happened at the Alamo when the Mexican army surrounded the uh, Texan yeah. freedom fighters and there was no way out. But it reminded me of that, there's only one road in, one road out, the Bromford, yeah. it's surrounded by a canal, um, and the also M6. the M6. But you also you got to remember that the Bromford was a, a race course at yeah. that time, so it's easy to gallop away as well. Yeah. Hmm. Boarded by the M6 canals, and with only one major bus route, the 26, this can create a feeling of isolation. But this only makes our corner of the world more special. Yeah, we're at the uh, Bromford Canals. Well, I used to come here when I was a kid, so just to tag my name up, really. You can't really get in trouble because, you know, just look at it, you know, you can see. Did, um, so everyone used to come down here and do graffiti? Yeah, to be honest, it used to be quite social. Like, you could come down here, see other taggers, get your name up with them and that's how you get your name up. I'm just showing you a piece by a crew that used to come down here quite a lot. It's called the No Effing About crew. I don't really want to say the F word on camera. Basically, if you went over the stuff, you would be in their bad books, let's just say that. And so they ran this part, or this, this length, yeah, is theirs really, or was theirs. My name's Peter Johnson. Um, uh, we're here at the Furs and Bromford Sports and Community Centre, which is a facility, I believe, on the Bromford Estates. It's crying out to be used. We're sandwiched between the shops, uh, I think it's the River Ray, uh, the Ra uh, Birmingham to Derby Railway line and the M6 motorway. This estate, the Bromford and the Furs, it, it, it tends to be isolated. Hmm. You think because of the boundaries, no one really finds out that that potential is here? Is it because of lot the geographical boundaries? Well, it's, 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 it's the negative press and it that Bromford gets. I mean, you speak to a police officer, I mean, it's about the nicks they get, you know. It, it's always the bad, yeah. you, you know, and not the good, yeah. you know what I mean? And there's a lot of goodness here, there's a lot of goodness. I'm Sam. I'm Card. We're brother and sister and we're from the Bromford estate. People who don't live on the Bromford, what do you think they think of the Bromford? Some of them see us as the people that are in the gusser, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bromford's misunderstood and I think the reputation Bromford has got from people outside of this area is wrong. I think once you live among Bromford and you get to know the community and the people within that, that it's not as bad as people make out, to be honest, it's really not. Mm. There's a lot of worse places in Birmingham. You cannot judge the book by its cover. 
basically if you do not live here you'll never know not everyone knows where the Bromford is and the media campaign is a rough and ready area but this only fuels our pride we love our area it may not be perfect but it's ours would you like to still be here if I be asked? yeah definitely definitely like I said love Bromford I'll be here when I'm old and grey I'd get buried in my back garden if I could living on the Bromford yeah I mean look it's just run down who's going to want to look at the flats and the shops and say oh that's gorgeous but you coming from here would you say that's gorgeous people say beauty's only like skin deep I love what is hidden beneath in yeah. Bromford what would you say is hidden beneath in <coughs> Bromford the memories the people I don't know um, my first pet He's buried in my back garden. Do you think, can you see a community in the area? Definitely there is a community around this area. No, I don't think there is at the moment. I don't think we all pull, put our weight and get round together with each other enough to, you know. Do you think that's because you're new to the area or? No, no, not because I'm new to the area. I just think there's a general disrespect for everyone in the area with each other, you know what I mean? Mm. I think there's different opinions from different age groups and then what kind of work you're doing in the area and yeah. what involvement you have within the area. Mm. In about five years' time, where do you see yourselves? Do you still see yourselves on the Bromford? Still maybe? on the Bromford. Yeah. No, I'd like to get off here, really, myself. Why well, would you like to get off here? Is there anything that... I don't know, you know what I mean? Make something in my life, you know, something better for more children than what I've had, you know what I mean? Mm. It's not, it, is, it is a nice place to be, but, you know, for me, I'd rather bring more... You know, it's, it's not the best place, really, is it, you know what yeah. I mean? The geography and position of the area makes it unique. Having no major through road means the only people who pass through the Bromford are the people who live here. My name's Aaron Harrow. I've lived here since I was born and it's just a perfect place to live. I like the area. I don't really want to move out of the area. Um, got lots of family and friends here and uh, somewhere that I've grown up and become familiar with. Yeah. It used to be called Bromford Bridge, but for some reason I've dropped the bridge. It don't matter if, whether you're old or young all black, it's all, all white, it don't matter because everyone, we all live here, so we all know what it's like to live here. Bromford and Hodgehill in general sort of get the uh, short straw in most things really. Why do you feel isolated, where does that come from? I think um, there's, there's the geography of it, so like the motorway and the canal and the train and all that sort of thing, <laughs> and the fact that it's a dead end, you know, Bromford Drive doesn't go anywhere and there's only like two or three roads off the estate completely. What positive word would you...? What, one word? Passionate. I'm passionate about the Bromford. If that's the one word that I can use. I'm passionate about the Bromford and... I think the majority of people are. This is my home, so yes, I'll be here, yeah. You're not going anywhere? No, I'm not. I'm staying here. I think this area has suffered more because of the lack of facilities, um, where it is, how the transport planning around it and everything like that. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a dead end. We're on the Bromford, there's only one bus, no trains, one road in, one road out. We can be seen as outsiders and our area may be seen as different, but adversity brings on pride. The pride of Bromford runs deep in the community, in the old, in the young, and in our blood. Reminiscing them times I've seen your face When I heard the news, man I can't believe it I broke down inside my heart started